you're here for the dance audition, take a look at the dance instruction book. When you think you're ready, put the cat suit on and get on stage. If you're good enough, you can keep the suit and come by anytime you want and dance some tips. Oh, and if you're not here for the audition, beat it. And a one, and a two. edges though so take that costume home and practice what's your name uh nancy nancy forget it from now on your name's uh punchy punchy larue but next I can't dance without my costume. You look upset. A big urn fell off the roof and almost hit me as I was coming in. It fell from this roof? Mava! The edge of the roof must have crumbled out from under it. Something has to repair Bel Fare. I am glad you are all right, of course. Of course. I'll talk to you later. Bella Roba. <laughs> BLT Kaisur. B.L.T. Kaisur. Where have I heard that name before?
Olive, olive in vendita, freschissime, buonissime, verde, nere, tutti i tipi, olive, olive. Grazie. your name? Samantha Quick. You are early, but please come in. Enrico is at the scopa table. Ah, sono Enrico Taza. Benvenuta a Venezia. I'm sorry, but if it's all right with you, I'd prefer to speak English. Of course, whatever you wish. What a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you until after Carnevale. Is that a problem? Oh, of course not. The sooner you get to work, the sooner you, we, will be compensated. So, you're not only young and attractive, but enthusiastic as well. Tell me more about yourself, Samantha. I'd rather just get down to business. Because, frankly, telling my life story to someone wearing a mask is just a little too freaky for me. I understand. Besides, having never met you before, I would have no way of knowing if what you tell me is a lie or the truth. I always wear the same costume for Carnevale. Why? Because I'm a very superstitious man. I believe that always doing things a certain way brings good fortune. For instance, I never discuss business with anyone unless and until that person beats me at the game of Scopa. Are you familiar with the game? Never heard of it. It's a card game, very popular in Venice. We play it with the traditional Italian deck of 40 cards. There are four suits in a scopa deck. Coins, cups, swords, and clubs. Each suit has ten cards. Seven, the most valuable card. Six, five, four, three, two, and ace. There are also three face cards. Valet, knight, king. When you are taking tricks during the game, each card is worth what it says, with a valet worth eight, a knight nine, and a king ten. However, for scoring at the end of the game, sevens are the most valuable, followed by sixes, aces, fives, fours, threes, twos, then all face cards. For scoring, these are called primes. To play the game, three cards are dealt to each player, then four cards are placed face up in the play area. If three kings appear, the cards are redealt. The player who did not deal the cards goes first. When it is your turn, you must play one card and one card only from your hand. Now, you have a two and there is a two in the play area. So you will play your two and take a trick. I discard a valet worth eight. You cannot make a match, so you discard your three. I discard the two. Now, because you have a knight in your hand, which is worth nine, and there is a six and a three in the play area. Six plus three equals nine. Which means you have a match and you take a trick. I discard my ace and because we are both out of cards, I deal us both three more cards. Ah, you have a seven in your hand. You also have an ace, which is worth one, a four and a two in the play area, which add up to seven. But there is also a seven in the play area. So, which do you match with your seven? The three cards that add up to seven, or the seven? The rules say, when presented with such a choice, you must take the trick by collecting the single card. And so, you match your seven card with the seven card in the play area and take a trick. I make a match with the valet and take a trick. You have yet another seven in your hand. 
Now you match it with the ace, the four, and the two, and take a trick. And since you have taken the last card in the play area, you say Scopa and get the point. We continue to play by discarding and taking tricks until all 40 cards have been played. At that point, we count the points we have won by taking tricks and getting Scopas. The first person to get 11 or more points wins. If no one has 11 or more points, the deck is shuffled, the other person deals, and we play another round. Are you ready to play? You bet. Scopa! We've played all our cards. You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the most tricks. I get one point for having the most coin cards. I get one point for having the seven of coins. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one point. And lastly, we score the Scopas.
You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the most tricks. You get one point for having the seven of coins. I get one point for having the most coin cards. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. You have the most valuable tricks, so you get one point. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. You cannot take several cards with a card in your hand. If a similar... Scopa! Scopa! I took the last trick, so I get all the cards remaining on the table. No points for me. I get one point for having the most tricks. I get one point for having the most coin cards. I get one point for having the seven of coins. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. You have the most valuable tricks, so you get one point. And lastly... We score the Scopas. Scopa! Scopa! Scopa!
Scopa. You took the last trick, so you get all the cards left on the table. You get one point for having the most tricks. You get one point for having the most coin cards. You get one point for having the seven of coins. No points for you. Now, let's add up what each card is worth and see who got the highest number of primes. I have the most valuable tricks, so I get one point. And lastly, we score the Scopas. Game over and you won. And because you beat me, we can finally talk business. I have a client who desires the Sadal Melek Sapphire. Have you heard of it? I'm not in the mood for a quiz, Signore Tatsa. Forgive me. The Sadal Melek is said to be the largest and most beautiful star sapphire in all of Europe. As you probably know, its current owner is a man named Vladimir Thanatos, who keeps it at the Palazzo Zateri, guarded by one of the most sophisticated security systems ever devised. Even someone with your youthful energy and talent will find stealing it a challenge. Which is why I suggest you contact Gina as soon as possible. Gina, good idea. The more time you give her, the more details on the system she will be able to give you. There, business is over. Back to pleasure. Do you have time for another game of Scopa? Huh? No, I'd better get going. Good luck, Samantha. As soon as you have the sapphire, bring it to me. Oddio, devo andare alla stazione. Sai dove è la stazione, Vania? Penso sia qui vicino, ma non ne sono sicura. Mi chiamo Nancy. Interesting flavor. Ooh. Ugh, I'm not feeling so good. Nancy? Are you alright? Oh my gosh! You're positively green! Nancy? Ugh. Oh, I should so not have eaten those sausages. Nancy, I've been worried about you. How are you feeling? Much better. No thanks to you. What do you mean? Those sausages you left in my room gave me food poisoning. What? What sausages? I didn't leave sausages in your room. The note they came with said they were from you. Well, someone else must have written it and signed my name, because I promise you, I did not leave any sausages or any note in your room. Besides, you don't think someone would give you tainted sausages on purpose, do you? I guess it could have been just an accident. Of course it was. I should be running along. Drop by again. Ooh, 
a great mask. I like it. You certainly look better than the last time I saw you. What happened? I made the mistake of eating the sausages that someone left for me. Apparently they were as nasty as they looked. That's terrible. Who would have left sausages for you? The note that was with them said they were from Colin. Colin? You'd think someone who can see a flaw in a tiny little tile from three meters away would be able to pick out decent sausages. He says it wasn't him. He says someone else wrote that note and left the sausages for me. Why would someone do that? He probably just doesn't want to... What do they always say in the movies? A cop to it. Anyway, the good news is, whatever was in those sausages didn't do you any permanent harm. You're back to your cute, spunky teenage self. What made you decide to stay here this trip? I met Margarita at a party last October, and when she heard I was going to need a place to stay when I made this trip, she practically begged me to stay here. Margarita mentioned that you like to go to parties. I'm sure she had a lot more to say about me than that. I think she's jealous of me. I'm young, I have a career, lots of friends, I can pay my own way. Margarita had to marry a man with money in order to make something of herself. I'll come back later, okay? Come back anytime. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice warm welcome for our newest dancer, all the way from Aix-en-Provence, France, Punchy LaRue! Grazie.